Hey guys, Steve Welch again here with more information on your new 12.3 screen uh, for your instrument cluster on your hybrids. Uh, so this will be on any of the vehicles that have your hybrids uh, system. So there could be some options that are a little bit different, but I'm gonna show you how to go through the settings menu, um, what everything means on your settings menu and how to set those particular items. Um, this should be very informative for you if you have this system. And I'm gonna show you all of that here. Uh, and I've got it pretty dark for so that you guys can take a look at it here but this is on the new venza all hybrid right so you got the hybrid system that's over here of course speedometer is over here um this is going to control the, the main screens up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you if you go uh right here just hit this okay button right once you hit the okay button you got these little bars that show up little parentheses right so as you come down you're going to be able to see that I, I can pop up pop down and i'm going into different things well this is where i'm going to show you all of your settings i'm just going to press and hold right here right and then or actually i'm just going to press it and don't need to hold it but you're going to see you can set the hud not all of them have a, a heads up display system the next one is your lane tracing alert so i'm going to hit the lane tracing alert right here i'm going to hold okay so now you're going to see that there's different options underneath your lane tracing alert so one option is the lane center so if you don't want it to center you in your lane just hit the okay button right here you'll shut that off hit the okay button again turn it back on your alert options that's pretty cool right so you'd have it to where it'll give you a sound or you just heard that vibration that was going on the steering wheel or you could have that sound right so whichever one you want you can have it give you that you can also change your sensitivity right and i was just hitting the okay button to change that by the way change your sensitivity you can uh it, and just hit the okay button again make it more sensitive make it less sensitive sway warning that's going to tell you that you know it's time to take a break right and turn that off turn that on go down again and i'm coming in here and then there's your sensitivity for the the sways right so that's just under your lane tracing all right your blind spot monitor, very easy. If you want BSM means blind spot monitor. If you wanna turn it off, just hit that button and you're gonna notice that it's gonna give you an icon that it's off. Now, in most of the old Toyotas, you actually had it to where it would say BSM and it would be green, right? So it would say that and people would call and say, what does the green BSM mean on my dash? Well, it meant that it was actually engaged and it was uh, looking for other cars. This way it just shows you when you've shut it off. Turn it back on, you hit your okay button, and then you're gonna see that it lights up in each mirror to let you know that each mirror functions. And that's something that you can do to test it if you want to as well. The next one down is your pre-collision system. I don't suggest doing anything with it, but you can press and hold the okay and change your sensitivity, or you can even turn the entire pre-collision system off. And it will say, do you wanna turn it off? Yes, no, it's gonna to default to no, right? But if you wanna turn it off, it's gonna, by the way, here, I'll show you too. If you turn it off and, and there, it's not permanent, right? So you can hit the yes button and turn it off. And then you're gonna see you get that icon over there that you've shut the pre-collision system off and it's gonna, you know, prompt you to turn it back on. <laughs> but anyway, so then this is your parking sensors, all right? turn the parking sensors on or off you get your icon over there as you turn it off again um, but if you actually hold this you can see you can change the volume of your parking sensor so if you're hard of hearing something like that maybe you want to change those uh, or if it, you find it annoying maybe you want to change those so there's different reasons to change those this one is rear cross traffic alert so that's when you have a vehicle coming behind you um, it will alert you that somebody's about to cross behind you or if you have a bike or a pedestrian it will alert you you can turn that off boom you get another icon over here rcta off um, like i said that used to be a green one as well when you turn it back on your blind spot monitors also come on to let you know you've turned that back on it's part of the same system now i just pressed and hold the okay here and you can change that alert volume as well all right so um, the next one is your your part your braking so as you try to roll into something it can actually break and stop the vehicle um, so that it will it will hold it for a couple of seconds and then release it again um, so a lot of times people going into car washes have the issue with that shut that off as you go into the car wash you get another icon there so if you have all these off you're gonna have a lot of icons on there um, but if you shut that off, you can get all the way through the car wash. It's not going to hit the brakes on you. Very, very easy to do that. 
turn that back on. It's it's just very simple to, to turn that on, turn that off. Next one, road sign assist. And I'm just going down the list here. So road sign assist, what that does is that looks for the road signs on the side of the road. It'll see stop, yield, um, it'll see speed limit, and do not enter. So if the last thing you saw is do not enter, and that's what's on the screen, then you're going the wrong way, right? So um, press and hold here. If you press and hold here you can change the notification so notification method above speed limit so you can say look i want a visual and audio or no notification that i've gone above the speed limit and then that one has visual you can change to others and it can do the same thing with the other notifications um, and then also if you come in and i'm hitting the back button here when i go back notification level it'll tell you one mile per hour three miles per hour or five miles per hour and you can set those very very easy all right so vehicle settings right i'm going to press and hold here all right so once i press and held here now you have dynamic radar cruise control so i'm going to hit this curve speed reduction so what your dynamic radar cruise control does is this one has it to where if it senses that the the vehicle is in a curve and you have it set at 75 it's going to start to slow you down based off of how far you've turned your steering wheel so it will see how far you've turned it and it will allow you to slow down the vehicle and then you can change that to off you can change it to the, the first level or the second level that's going to be the most reduction as you're going around the corner right so i'm hitting back here pbd power back door not all of them will have that it just depends on the vehicle that you're on but that's the height of the back door to where it will go up or go down you can turn the back door off to where it won't be a power back door hands-free operation so some of them have the kick where you can kick it and raise the back door right and then you have your opening adjustment right here you can go to five four three two one you can change all of that and like i said i'm just hitting these buttons so i'm just going up going down and then once you get the setting boom hit okay and you set the setting the volume that's for when it beeps as you go to open it outside right going to hit the back button again here tire pressure warning system it's just going to say do you want to set the pressure identify the each wheel in position or pressure unit setting that's pretty good if you want to change the pressures sometimes people like to run a little higher pressure at times or a little lower pressure at times it'll keep your uh, pressure light from coming on if you reset it that way and then scheduled maintenance that is how you reset your maintenance data to where you'll be at zero time before your maintenance maintenance schedule in these cars is every 5,000 miles oil changes are every 10 um, but that is how you reset that data so I'm going to hit back. I'm not going to reset that. Here's your oil maintenance. So this is just the oil side, right? So the oil maintenance is the 10,000. So it'll tell you that it's time to change the oil. The other one will tell you it's time for maintenance. Um, and then rear seat reminder. Some people like to turn that on, turn that off. Very, very easy to get into a rear seat reminder on your Venza. All right. So meter settings. This part's really sweet too. So I'm going to press and hold this. You can change the language the units so if you want to go kilometers you can change all of that or if you want to impress your friends and go 120 change that it's really like 60 something miles an hour in american units um but you know there you go meter type this is where you can find you can change this entire meter system so watch boom you change it now your speedometer is in the center everything else has moved around very very sweet to change this so i'm going to do another video that kind of shows you this so now you got your widgets widgets can come down on the bottom i'm just adding that like i said this is just meant to be an overview the other thing you can do and i'm just hitting this boom full digital right in the center don't have anything else nothing else to get in your way hit your widgets if you want to very easy there all right and then you can come back and then you can go back to the exact main one which was the original one that we saw and set that great news is if you don't like how it looks you can change it so that is really really sweet the meter style watch this we're going to change this you want it smart casual a little casual here tough make it look a little rugged right a little tough here sporty so a little sporty look to it you can change all of that so you can make it look however you want it to look and there you go so all of that is very very sweet that you can do with this particular system um, and then you can come down here you can see your ev turn that on your fuel economy settings you can set what you're looking at for your fuel economy and then your hybrid systems all of that right there um, 
drive info theme. So I'm gonna hit this, you can say distance, total time. This is just normal stuff that most people are, are used to. Hit pop-up display and it'll tell you what will pop up on your screen and you can turn those and I'm just going through this. I know it's kind of quick, but I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. So you can change the brightness of the pop-up, stuff like that. You can change all of that very, very easily. Um, and then your default settings, you can restore all your factory settings very, very quick, right? So. Um, but that is going through all of the systems and all of the settings that you can set. And I'm gonna open this door so you guys can see me, but all of the systems that you can set on the new 12.3 screen. And uh, like I said, I, I, I went as in depth as I could in trying to keep this video as short as possible. But Steve Welch, Beam and Toyota, hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.